for the um, for a practice or an activity to be a relaxation practice, it has to have kind of like three components to it. You need to be looking at what you're doing to untangle the tensions in the physical body. Yeah, in the physical body, the muscles, the musculoskeletal system, and the nervous system. You need to look at untangling the tensions on the mental plane. And that relaxation practice needs to be a practice that lends itself to untangling tensions on the level of emotions. Because you guys, let's face it, most of us these days actually are not doing anything that's physically demanding, right? Or physically fatiguing. But yet we are depleted and fatigued and tired. So where is that coming from? It's certainly not coming from physical activity, it's coming from the overactivity of the emotions and the mind and those tensions that haven't been looked at and resolved. So the next time you think about, you know, relaxing, for sure continue to do your, like just as an example, after today, I'm telling you what I'm doing. I have a bottle of organic wine in the fridge. I'm getting sushi and I'm going to binge watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Life is to recover our true nature, and the purpose of life is to express it. 